Hey everyone, welcome back to Huckle Life on Switch. How is everybody doing? Are you loving Huckle Life? Um, is it your first time playing? Um, what are you thinking about it? Do you like it? Um, just wanted to take a moment to thank all my subscribers, everybody who's just watching my recordings and um, commenting. I'm enjoying the comments so much. Um, I am trying to respond to all of them as soon as I can, but I do work full time. So if I haven't gotten to your comment yet, please be patient with me. Um, I forgot what we have going on today. Let's go look. Oh, that's right. We've got a house going over here. Um, and we need to get iron ore. I, I don't know. I may not be able to fulfill that request yet. <clears throat> Just because, um, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get iron ore for a while. Again, I don't know why they give you a request if you can't get the material. <clears throat> Normally, uh, they don't do that because I thought they'd fix that. So, I'm unsure why. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know if there's a time limit on this request. No, they just, it's just the chair. So there's not a time limit, so that's good, because yeah, I don't know when we're going to be able to do that. That may take a little bit. Had it not been made out of steel, um, we probably would have been okay. Oh. Yeah, that's just coal. Um, no. Ah, uh, we really need to find storage is what we need to find. <laughs> so we can start storing items. That's, that's a big one. Um, did I get, no, I'm just getting coal. Okay. I think these rocks drop iron ore sometimes, um, or at least they used to, I think, just not very often. And we just can't go very fine, very far in the mine jet until we upgrade um, our pickaxe. So I don't know, we'll have to see if we can, if we're going to be able to do it or not. We got um we unlock something, yay. Ah <gasps> bronze pickaxe. That was pretty quick. Okay. Well that um I feel like that was achieved faster than I normally do. Um, I just not sure how you get that. Um, oh, we just need six bronze. And don't we have bronze? 
I thought we got some bronze. Maybe not. That's copper. Oh, let's go check that out, you guys. I'm curious. I think maybe we have to buy the bronze, um, which unlocks that from Sally first. And then, then we can craft bronze. I believe that's how that works. Let's get rid of the pickaxe for a minute. Because that would be awesome because then we could go further in the line. <coughs> Excuse me. We just need one more, I believe, to upgrade our pickaxe. Awesome. So let's go mining some more. See if we can get a little bit more bronze. <coughs> That's pretty cool. That kind of happened a lot faster than I remember it happening when I first started playing. Of course, so many things have changed and been updated since I first started playing this game on Steam. When it was in early access. So, um... I'm not a hundred percent surprised. Okay, let's see what we can do here. <clears throat> I don't remember where I got the bronze, to be honest. Um, maybe it was in this section. Probably was. guys <clears throat> I got nine iron ore oh yeah good then we'll be able to make steel at, at least probably one bar I think that's all she was needing but now I want to get bronze so that I can upgrade my pickaxe why, why do I feel like I can't pick up anything Oh, is it because my backpack's full? It is. Okay, so we are going to, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go over here, out of the way. And we're going to drop. Okay. Good, now we can pick up the copper ore. Because I'd rather have that. Worms are easy to get, so I'm not that worried. In fact, it'll probably stay there and I can pick it up later. So I'm not ultimately worried about it. <clears throat> so how much copper did we get? 
Um, we got nine. We should be able to make one more. Let's go. Let's go make stuff. We can always come back later if we want to. The one nice thing about this game that I've always loved is you just never run out of energy. Um, now, as far as the mines, um, you can only get so much per day because it does not run, respawn when you leave the mine. Like, if you leave the mine and go back in in Stardew Valley, let's say, everything kind of respawns. Well, the mines here do, do not work that way. You have to wait till the next day. So, the only thing you could run out of is resources for whatever you're trying to do. But then there's other things you can do um, while you wait to go to the next day. So, it's not, you know, it's not a major thing. Um, but, uh, you never run out of energy. There's no energy bar. You don't have to eat anything <laughs> or anything like that in order to um, keep going. You can just keep going. So that is a huge plus in my book. Um, it doesn't make it does make it more challenging if you do have to replenish your energy. I mean, I get that, but this is supposed to be a really chill game, and I think they designed it that way for that reason. Now, the thing that I'm worried about is if I'm gonna have room okay now we can upgrade our pickaxe you guys oh no your backpack's full oh no that means we're not going to be able to do the steel either so what i'm going to do <laughs> this is what i did when i first started playing hook life until i got storage <clears throat> Um, we're just going to go over here, kind of out of the way, and we're going to drop some items. Um, like, we'll just drop um, that. And what else can we not, what else can we live without right now? I, I feel it's the conifer seeds because um, we can pick those up later. And that's what's nice because you can pick them up later. You just want to drop stuff out of the way because as soon as you get too close to them, um, it's just going to auto pick up again. So you have to be careful with that. <laughs> I've done that way too many times. We got the copper pickaxe, you guys. I'm so excited. Okay. Sally? Got that steel, Riley? Yep. Great. You know what? Why don't you have a go at fixing the chair? This ought to be interesting, you guys. I reckon you'll do a great job. Go and interact with the design table, and then we can get started. Oh, yay. You can now choose to work on items from your backpack. Select the backpack icon to continue. Select the broken chair. Alongside crafting copies of an item, you can now customize that item. Select the customize the customize button to continue. Well, like now you didn't say you needed cushions. Welcome to the design tool. This is where you can edit and create your own. Whoa! This chair needs a new leg. To start, add adding pieces. Press X. Oh, X. <laughs> I had to figure out which one was my X button. Here are all the pieces that you can add to this design. Select the chair leg piece. Press interact to place this piece into the design. Press interact. Oh, this looks much better. Press the save button to save your design. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Great job, Riley. I'm sure that chair's owner is going to be very pleased with the work you did. Wow. Okay, that was a lot easier than I had anticipated. <laughs> Maybe they did um, kind of fix it more controller friendly for that. Um, I guess we'll see you later on when we have to do more stuff in there. Uh, but for now, all right. Um, now, I don't remember whose chair that was. Oh, it was Pip's. Okay. 
I was like, um, it's been so long now, I couldn't remember who the villager was. Um, Pip? Hi, me. Pip, are you around? Are you in your house? Um, are you in town? Where are you? Hi. Did you fix it? All fixed. Oh, wow. You managed to sort this so quick. Not really. All I've managed to do today is nap. Thanks, Riley. You're welcome. I had this amazing idea for a song, but I didn't bother to write it down, and now I can't remember. Need anything? I was supposed to get two Swallowtail yesterday, but, but totally forgot. Um, could you help out Swallowtail? Okay. Great. Thanks. So, my, is the chair gone? It is gone. Okay, so... You wanted a chair, but you didn't put it anywhere. You didn't ask me to put it anywhere, which is kind of weird, but okay. Whatever moves you, buddy. Okay, so let's see if we can find a couple of swallowtails. Um, my question is, have we caught any of those yet? <coughs> uh that's the beach that's the yeah they're in the meadow here so okay so we just need to find a couple swallowtail um just sure we'll really be able to do that so quickly <laughs> that is not a swallowtail i gotta be careful because of my inventory being so full um i have a few open spots now though so that's good uh, I don't know if the swallowtails are even out yet because <clears throat> it may not be the time of day for them. It's the only bad thing about the PD I wish they would have updated is to say, they do say where they're located, but it doesn't say the time of day they come out. So that's unfortunate. I, I was kind of hoping they would have updated that information. Um, swallowtails, I think, are brown but I think they're smaller I'm having a really hard time catching stuff um there we go oh it's a Kaiser hind um that's a swallowtail I think right there because they're small Ren I'm so sorry but you're in my way I don't know where it went now oh it's over here okay we got one yay we just need to get one more for Pep. That's not a swallowtail. That's not a swallowtail. Okay. So. <coughs> little bit better than what I thought that was going to be. Um, yeah, my controller is just really funky with this. Um, the other playthrough that I did on Steam, I used my, my PS4 controller. So. The buttons are backwards, but my joystick on my Pro Controller for the Switch is extremely loose. Like, because I've just, it's wear and tear, you guys. I've used it so much. I played Animal Crossing so much the day it came out. Um, and for the last year and a half to two years that, um, I just really, it's just extremely loose. Um, you know, you're not a, where's another swallowtail? Um, let's go over this way and see if there's any over here. Maybe we'll have better luck. And we do need to make more stairs also. Oh, I think that might be one. Swallowtail, perfect! Easier than I thought. Easier than I anticipated on that, too. <coughs> and it might just be getting used to the joystick being so loose on um, you know, because I'm still playing some games on Steam like Wildflowers. I'm still playing that on Steam. People say my hobbies are for kids, but what's wrong with being young at heart? I totally agree. Um, I'm totally so young at heart. I think most of us are. 
here you go. Thank you so much, Riley. Here's a brick t-shirt as something in return. A brick t-shirt. We're going to have to see what that looks like. A brick t-shirt. Hmm. That's a very interesting design uh, name for a shirt. Okay, well, you know what? That's a little bit something different than what we we're wearing, so that's fine. Hey, man, you got a minute? Sure. I found this bookshelf at the secondhand market yesterday, but it's missing a shelf or two. Oh, no. I figured you'd be the one to speak about fixing it up. Leave it to me. Nice. One or two shelves on that would be sweet. Thanks, Riley. Uh, oh, you guys. we got to try to design again. Well, the last one was easier than we thought. I'm going to try to be optimistic. <laughs> I don't know the, how optimistic I can be, but I... Oh, wrong, 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 wrong. Okay. Okay. Here we go, you guys. We're going to try it. have a look at some more of the design tool features select the bookshelf from your backpack to continue thank goodness it's still the tutorial because I think it's really helpful right now since it's totally controller based and I was not I was using my mouse on steam a lot of times um, so this will be good <clears throat> select customize and enter the design tool where you will add some more shelves to rotate the camera, use that. Okay. Oh. Um, holding this button down will switch the camera into zoom mode. Uh. Oh. Okay. Oh, I see. All right. Okay. Well, now what? Are you stuck now? I am so Oh, there we go. Holding this button will allow you to move the camera around. Okay. Well, I am, but it's not doing anything. Am I doing that wrong? Why is my ZL not working? Holding this button down will let you... Oh, there we go. Let's add some shelves to the design. Press the Add Stuff button and select a piece to add. Okay. Um. Once you add a piece, you start. You'll start in the Move tool. Move the cursor over an arrow and hold interact to move one piece. <coughs> You'll start in the move tool. Oh, okay. Move the cursor over the arrow and hold. Um, oh, you move the cursor with your left. Okay. And hold interact. Other tools are available and their buttons are shown on the right of the screen. Press the button for the rotate tool to continue. Um, this tool allows you to rotate a piece in your design. Select the resign tool. Okay, so that's to the right. This lets you resize a piece in your design. Finally, return to the move tool to continue. If you ever make a mistake while designing, press the undo button, oh, which is down. Okay, those are the basics. Okay, so we want to add a piece. Um, I'm going to kind of start this one off low. And then um, <clears throat> it's easy to rotate. I like that. Um, move your cursor over here and move it this way. I'm trying to see how far out I am. 
Okay, now we want to, um, <clears throat> we don't want to rotate, but we want to resize. I forgot which one. Uh, okay, so that will move it. Um, oh, that's making it smaller. Okay, so that must be the resize tool. Okay, and then we want to, okay, that's moving it. Um, let's rotate. No, I don't want to resize that. Um, whoa. Okay, so, <clears throat> Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. Um, then I want to move it. Okay, that moves it. Now, what I want to do is to, I don't want to rotate it, but I want to make it longer. Like, how do I make, oh, that would be resize again, right? <clears throat> oh, did I move it the wrong way? I did, I think. Yeah, I did, but we'll just go ahead and resize that like this. And then we'll, um, There we go. I mean, it's not extremely hard. Um, I think it's just going to be getting used to it, you know? Like, am I even, um, am I on there all the way? I mean, I kind of feel like I am. Oh, I keep going the wrong way with the, the, okay. <clears throat> um. Could you come back down that way there? And I wonder if I need to, um, I kind of wonder if I need to uh, resize it just a bit more, just so it will, yeah, come out that way a little bit. Okay, yeah, I think that's better. That's better. Okay, we wanna add another piece and we're gonna put this one up here a little ways. Um, this is not going to be perfect by any means. Um, and I kind of want to, can I take this now and kind of move it down? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, no. No, no. Okay. Um, I kind of hit the back button. Okay. Can I take this and um, move it down just a little? No, I don't want to resize it. Actually, that was a little bit better. I want to move it. I keep forgetting which one is the move. The, I know the right is resize. I think the, yeah. Oh, it tells you up top. Okay. We'll just put that down a little bit. Okay. Let's go back up to this one. And let's resize. Um, And we want to move it to bring it out in the forefront. <clears throat> Not quite there yet. It's really weird to do this by controller only. It's not impossible, but it is kind of strange. Okay, so we're gonna um, we're gonna move it this way. And then we want to um, resize by moving it out a bit. Um, we want to move again. It's just really getting used to the controls. Um, 
uh, I think we want to resize again. <clears throat> I don't remember it saying the words up top when I was doing it before. Oh, no, we want to move. Um, you, again, this is not going to be perfect. This is just um, first time. Um, but I don't think it's turning out too bad. Um, I mean, it's not horrible, right? I don't know. I think we did it okay. Let's save it. That doesn't look too bad. Here, you can take a nice photo using the camera tools you learned to line up your item and press capture to continue. Okay. Well, we can do it kind of like that. Okay. Press save. All right. You guys, we did it. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Not too shabby for my first time. I do say so myself. Uh, like I said, it's it's getting used to it, but it's not horrible. Um, I almost found it a little easier than the PC at that point. And I just wonder if it's because they did some fixing to it, um, which helped. Uh, it's the only thing I can think of because um, I really had trouble using the controller on PC. And maybe that's the difference because this is made for... Um, it was Pip, right? I'm kind of bored, but I can't decide what to do. Maybe a nap? Yeah, maybe it wasn't Pip. It was Ren, wasn't it? I already forgot. I mean, and that didn't even take terribly long either, did it? Now, that's already an item mostly made. Keep that in mind. Like, if you had to start from scratch, that might take a little bit longer. But like I said, it wasn't horrible. Oh, everybody turned away when I came. Uh, I'm going to try not to take offense to that. Hey, that bookshelf is looking great. Can you help me and place it in my home somewhere? You bet. It doesn't really matter where. Okay. I just have to remember which one is your house, but yeah. Oh, first one. Perfect. Is this the one full of stuff? Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is the one I had to put the table and try to rearrange everything. Um... <clears throat> So we can rotate. Um, we're just going to put it over here for now in front of the amp because um, for lack of anywhere else to put it. Let's go just go tell Brent. I, I really didn't turn out bad, guys. I don't think. I'm pretty pleased with that. Pretty pleased. Hi, Yara. Um, it would help if I could get over the bridge. <laughs> Ren, where did you take off to, buddy? It's like you all disappeared. Hi. Hi. Ren, can you say hi? No. Okay. I'm so happy I found that bookshelf at the market. And thanks to you, Riley, it's complete and looking good at home. Recycling's pretty, really, pretty great, really. Thanks, Riley. So we have $488 and we unlocked a merit. Camera unlocked. Yay! We did good. Okay, that's going to be it for this episode. Um, I was hoping to make it a little bit longer, but um, I'm recording this in the morning before work and I have to start getting ready to go. So I will be recording some longer ones in the evening after I get home from work. And this weekend probably record a bunch of them and they'll be a lot longer so until then i hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day evening afternoon wherever you are and i will see you soon